Friends and family of the captain of a clam boat are remembering their hero tonight. He lost his life yesterday when he jumped into the waters off Nantucket to save a crew member who had fallen in. And ETN's Josh Bogadier has more. Get his crewmate back, definitely. And so when a deckhand went overboard into the waters off Nantucket early Saturday morning after the hose was fouled in the clamming boat's propellers, Captain John Zuzik, with his survival gear on and dove in, the deckhand survived, Zuzik did not. We all go out, you know, sailing or on a fishing boat, and you just don't know sometimes if someone's going to come home. The 53-year-old from Harwich on the Cape only got into commercial fishing six or seven years ago, according to his friend Mark Leach. They used to work together on Leach's lobster boat. I knew from the start that he would be a good fit, and he was right, right off the bat. I mean, he, he was a great... Great guy on a boat, and he didn't mind getting his hands dirty. Before that, Zuzik was in the Air Force and was an engineer with the cable company. His selfless actions come as no surprise to those who knew him, such as friend and Harwich Port Harbor master Tom Leach, Mark's brother, who describes John Zuzik as a risk taker and a great guy. Worked hard, uh, played hard. Um, he's the kind of guy that if you were on downhill skiing with him, he would be the guy that would go top to bottom full burn. In spite of the summer crowds, or perhaps because of them, Harwich is a tight-knit community where much of life takes place out on the water. Now the flag is at half-mast at Sacquatucket Harbor. This kind of death kind of hits everybody who lives here. And that he went out and came back as a hero is, is just a nice thing for the family. And according to a fisherman we just spoke with, Christy, this boat right over here called the Mandy Lynn is the boat that actually, uh, that's the boat right there that towed Captain Zuzik's boat to Hyannis. Now, we have heard unconfirmed reports that Captain Zuzik did die of a heart attack, though that is not confirmed. Christy? Josh Brogadier reporting live for us. Thank you. Three